Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am fug it. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Today guys, the video is titled How short guys can get all the women. Really. All right, think about it. We've all heard and women will say it to this day, they want tall, dark, and handsome, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you why being short will give you an advantage. Now follow me here, stay with me, all right? My undersized underdogs, think about it. If you approach a taller woman, right, with confidence, and I'm not talking about like same height, an inch or so, I'm talking like five, six inches taller than you, okay? It shows that you have it conveys to her and anyone that's witnessing this that you're a man of great confidence. And it also leads others to assume that you have your shit together, right? Because who would have the gall? Who would have the cojones? Who would have the testicular fortitude to do that? Okay? So think about it. Game and confidence will win out over height every time there's plenty of tall guys some of them have confidence some don't but it's not height alone that gives you the confidence right you've got to do your homework you've got to put yourself out there you have to believe in yourself you have to be doing all the little things you have to be in the gym you have to be reading and proving yourself improving your business doing all those things will give you confidence and then you just gotta take it to the take it to the street and put it to the test. Um, think about it. to be a short guy with confidence. It really does show or convey that you've overcome a lot. It really does, you know. Um, it's easy, in my opinion, for us undersized underdogs um, to gain leverage or um, influence people because. People have their guards down with shorter guys, right? You're assumed immediately, first impressions, that you probably don't have as much confidence because you are short. Um, I'll tell you a story. When I was a professional wrestler, <clears throat> you know, I'd obviously be at my size, one of the smallest, if not the smallest, every night, one of the guys in the locker room. And so, you know, as a pro wrestler and you're traveling a lot and you're living out of suitcases and whatnot, and you take your your gear or your your wrestling stuff, your attire, your costume, whatever, um, with you to the arena. And I would have like athletic tape or ring tape, um, you know, a spray bottle to kind of spray up and get a good sweat, some uh, stretch bands to like warm up the muscles, etc. Right. Now, um, from time to time, a big guy that's kind of a big bully you know, what appears to be alpha male would come up. And there was one instance um, where a big juiced up dude comes up and he goes, give me a protein bar. And I'm lacing up my boots at the time. And I just look up at him and I say, excuse me? He goes, give me one of your protein bars. Everybody knows you're always well prepared. You know, you're like a boy scout. You always have everything you need. I need a protein bar, I'm hungry. Give me one of your damn protein bars. I stood up, looked up at him, and I'm about up to his chest, right? And he's just smirking down at me. I said, no, I'm not giving you a protein bar. He goes, well, I'm hungry and I want a protein bar and you have them. And if you don't give it to me, I'm gonna take it from you. I said, really, I'd like to see you try it. And I just stood there, not shaking at all, not nervous, just staring him dead in the eye. He goes, I'll kick your ass if you don't give me one. So let me tell you something. I said, there's like 25, 30 people back here right now. I said, if you kick my ass, it's no big deal because everyone assumes you can kick my ass. I said, but when I kick your ass, how are you ever going to live that down that the little guy, the smallest guy in the locker room beat your ass? So think about it. 
for we stared for what felt like forever, but it's probably a few seconds. Goes, Get out of here. He walked away. So, confidence. Stand up. You'd be surprised how many people will back down. They're not as tough as they portray. Whenever you're a shorter guy and you have confidence and you're doing your thing, the naysayers or people around you might assume that you've got a Napoleon complex. And I used to see that as a negative thing, but there can be a positive side to that too. I mean, think about it. Napoleon was the emperor of Europe. Not bad, right? Not bad. And he built the first French empire. Not bad for a short guy. So if somebody says you have a Napoleon complex, say, well, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. It'll mess up their world. And if you need to, explain why. It shows how smart you are, too. All right. It also shows that you're a risk taker. Um, and the only way to gain this confidence, if you don't have it immediately and just hyped up from the video and, and just have this you know moment of clarity and bravado, um, it's like everything else in life. You know, it's a numbers game. It's you having to put yourself out there. Try, fail, try, fail, try, fail. And with all of the rejections or the no's you get, you'll build up a little bit of thick skin. You know, you'll build up a little bit of resistance and a tolerance of that. And it also gives you an opportunity to refine your game, to make your game better. And you learn with every interaction what to do, what not to do, but you have to socialize. You have to get out there and work on it, okay? Learn from the mistakes you make. Um, you know, continue to refine your game. And that's the only way it's gonna get done, you guys. You get a few no's and all of a sudden you get that first yes. And then you get another yes and another yes. And before you know it, you're a machine, you know? So start acting like the undersized underdogs that whether it was your DNA, God, your parents, Mother Nature, whatever it is, it destined you to be who you are. It's not a curse. It's not a shortcoming. Test it, try it, and walk in it. Guys, like the video, like, share, subscribe, etc. 5 nothing 100 nothingcom You want to see something in these videos? You want to see... Um, specific topic not covered or something I've covered, you want it expanded upon, let me know. Love you guys. Have a great day and go out there, you little Napoleons, you little undersized underdogs, and just say, fuck it. Take care.